Hi, my name is Onoha UI and I'm a Canvas Certified Creator. In today's tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to collaborate with your team members in Canva. All right, so let's dive into Canva and get started. So what you're going to notice is you're going to find this create a, a team and when you click on that you're going to be asked to put in a team name the name for the team in my case i'm using dwc you just go ahead and hit continue remember that you can always change this in the future and here is just asking you to invite people to your team or just add the email addresses you can just get an invite link and what that means is you can copy the link and send to them via social media or you can send it to them via email and they will just click on the link and get into the team already but that's another option is to just add in the email address like i'm doing right now and after adding the email address you can add as many as possible just their email addresses and you're just going to say send invites and canva automatically sends invites to them via email now this is a kind of email they are going to get when you send your invites they're going to get something like this where it says you've been invited to join a team on canva and if they open it they are going to find this invitation link and they can accept the invitation by just clicking on the link right there and it brings them into canva if they've not logged into canva they would need to log into canva to get access to joining the team and this is what you're just going to find welcome to honor your ice team or any other team right there remember you can always change the name of your team in the future and that's just what i did you can read the onboarding processes here with the cards or you just close it so I'm going to show you how to invite members, how to assign a tax and also how to change membership roles using Canva. Okay, so now you have created a team, you've added a team member to your team. Now it's time for you to just start designing and inviting your team members, commenting and assigning tags to them. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. So what we're going to do is go over to templates and you can find templates here and i'm just going to come here and what i'm going to type here is i'm going to type brainstorm because we want to create something for our company and we want to have this brainstorming kind of template and that's what we're just looking for right here i'm just going to scroll through and this is my own creative process i would just like to get templates that are super easy for me to use and i don't have to spend a lot of time just trying to recreate them or doing stuff because canvas got all of the templates that i'm looking for now i think i like this one here and it's just what we want to do is got two pages and it's going to solve the problem that we want to so you can find it here so it's a walk live impact template and that's just what I'm going to use. So all I'm going to say is use template. And here we have it. All I'm going to do next is I'm just going to look at it. And because I can't work on this alone, so I'm going to include and involve my team members. I could tell them to do anything that I could do. One thing I usually do is before I invite people into a team to start working with me, I need to make sure that those people are people who are key designers or key decision makers in the companies that we've got something to do with the uh, marketing part of the brand where we've got to design creative for a brand uh, marketing or advertising purposes or maybe for a campaign. Now, we just need to have those people who are really good with that so we don't have to waste a lot of time. And that's why you need to work together. So for this particular case, what I'm going to show you first, the first demonstration here, I'm going to show you is, I like this font here, but I want them to change the colors to fit our brand. Or maybe I just like the template entirely. What I'm going to just do is, you're going to find this option here. It's a call out actually, just like for adding comments. What that means is that you can actually comment on anything you choose. So if I choose this, you'll find it just right here. If you use a social media, you should see that. So you can see here saying add comment. Anything you just tap here is gonna just ask you to put a comment in that. And so you can see here it's asking me to do that. Now I wanna just do this for the entire board, uh, every single thing on the board. And I could just go here and type and just add a comment. I could just say good template and that's it. So every other team member will be able to see this on the team. All right, so I could just comment on that and you can see it here is saying on oh, no, a UI just now I commented I said good template and I can still go ahead to reply this as many times as possible 
and this is how you comment on something i could just choose this and say on this particular one here i choose this text i could come here and say great font choice and i like it i'm just going to comment on that now it means that i have actually done some comments on this and the comments are just right here you can see them here for every single comment that i made if i select this it goes there now i'm going to show one more comment again on this image here i'm going to add a comment to that and i'm just going to come here and the comment i'm just going to add here is going to be can we use our company's logo now that's what i'm just going to be asking here can we use our company's logo and i'm just going to come in that as well now if you click on this you're going to find the comment right here so different comments got different cards and it's going to tag to that particular element that i am just commenting on or whoever on the team is commenting now this is how you comment on your design with your team members and they are also going to be able to see this now next i'm going to show you how to assign a tax to a team member now let's say i do not like these colors here and i want these colors to represent our brand colors all i'm going to do is i'm just going to come here and just go to comment and here i'm going to use this art sign here you can use your shifts art on your keyboard and you're going to find that and you can see i can add anyone here i'm going to assign this task to dwc and what i want to say is change colors to brand colors so that's it change colors to brand colors and i'm just going to go ahead and say comment now when a team member logs in to their camera account or goes to the email address they are going to find that particular design under shared with you and when they open it what you're going to see is telling them to edit this particular design and what they're going to do is just click on edit now when they click on edit they are going to be able to find all of this task here so dw is assigned to this if there are other tags that have been assigned they're also going to find them right here so these are the comments that i made on this one here and this is the template dwc is seen by honor ui and they're also going to see this one assigned to this where i'm saying change the colors to brand colors and this other part is saying great font choice because of this particular one that was selected already and then this one is saying that can we use our company's logo and this is saying can we change colors to brand colors and what i'm going to do is wait for him to respond and he is maybe just going to say done yes i think that's good so he's just going to say done and reply now i am going to see this when i log into my own camera account and that's done and what i'm going to do is you can click here to say resolve that is to say that you have resolved it and this is what the team members would do after they have resolved a particular task that was assigned to them they are going to go here and say resolve now that is resolved you're going to see it here comment resolve that is how you can assign a task and also comment out some part of your designs so your team members can also be a part of it another wonderful part of this collaboration with your team members in canva is the fact that you can work in real time and i'm going to show you how to do that right now two people are already active on the team and i'm going to be designing real time with an, a one member of my team maxi lopez and dwc is active but not designing now whoever joins your team you're going to find a headshot here it's just like uh something showing who they are maybe they've got profile photo or not or the name and if you hover your mouse over it you're going to find the name just like a tag right there and uh, whenever someone starts designing you're going to see the name of the person on that particular element that they are currently working on so i'm going to just tag max lopez on one of those designs here or this element here so what i'm going to do i'm going to say max lopez so i'm saying max lopez change tag header to black and we're going to work from different locations i'm signing this to the max lopez and i'm saying commands and i'm going to just go ahead to work on part of the design why we do this together now you notice that you're going to find the name of the team member working right here you can see max lopez here while i'm just working on mine so i could just say this is a copy of our company's template that's just me editing that and you can see 
that Max Lopez is working on that change the name to DWC team and we don't have to be in the office doing this together. This is one of the importance of the collaboration feature that you have in Canva. It works super cool. It works real time. You can assign tags, you can comment. It makes working fun. And anyone who uses this feature in Canva is already loving it. Now, you can see that Max Lopez just changed this and I'm not doing anything. You can see my mouse is just there. I'm not working on anything. And this art change, you can see that everything is working right there. I can just go ahead and maybe decide to just change any other thing here. Maybe this photo. And I could decide to change this photo to this. You can see we're all just working together and everything is working so well. The entire design is getting super, super interested so this is how you go about working real time with your team members and they do not have to be in the office you don't have to wait for them to come before they start designing you can start designing anywhere around the world that is one of the importance of the collaboration feature in canva next i'm going to show you how to share your designs with your team members so let's say i'm still working with max in the past and dwc is not active so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to say share and I'm going to choose DWC here. You can see already invited as an editor. So I'm going to select this. I'm sharing this particular design with DWC as a team member because DWC is not currently active working with us in real time. And I'm just going to say send. So you can see the design has already been shared with the WC. And that's exactly how you go about sharing a design with your team members. Maybe they are not actively designing with you in real time, but you can still send a design to them and they can go ahead and open it via the email or when they log into the Canva dashboard and they will just go ahead and start working. So this is how you can just do this in Canva. Next I'm going to show you is how to edit or even delete a thread that's in the comment that you've been making on a particular design. So all you need to do is just go to the comment that you want to edit or delete and you just go to the three dots here, there's horizontal dots, and you just tap on it. You can see edit comments, and you can edit this comment and reassign it to a different team member, and you can just save it. If you don't want to do that and you want to delete the entire thread, all you're going to do is just to click on that and you say delete thread. And every single part of that thread will be deleted immediately. Now let me show you how to change team members roles in Canva. The first part I'm going to do is just go back to home. I'm going to go to my browser and in the search bar, paste in canva.com forward slash teams forward slash members. And when I hit that, I'm going to have to see all the team members in my team. The roles available are administrators, template designers, members. Uh, for an administrator, they can manage your team members, create design templates for your brand, and even edit your brand kit. For template designers, they can create design templates for your brand and edit your brand kits. They can also invite all the designers as well, or we'll send them special tips uh, to get started. Now, members are those people who you wanna to use to start your designs, and especially like colleagues in marketing or social media sales, just people who will just see what you're working on or decision makers in a particular company. To do that, you just have to scroll down and you can see I the members on this particular team, are just three and myself, Max Lopez and DWC. What I'm going to do is I can change it here. You can see the emails and then the row. Here it says, owner who you are is the owner. Max Lopez is a member and I can change Max Lopez to an administrator or to a template designer, or I can entirely remove a team member. Say so I'm changing this to a template designer. Put this DWC, maybe I could just gonna leave that as a member. And that is how you go ahead to change your members role in Canva to improve the collaboration that you're going to have with your team members and make work not just effective, but also efficient. The last part is showing you how to delete your team. To delete a team in Canva, all you need to do is log into Canva and you're going to find this button here that says help. It's just the normal help button you find whenever you log into Canva. It's purple and just below the Canva environment. Click on that and you're going to find the search bar. All you need to do is type delete team. When you type in delete team, 
Canva will populate some requests that's got to do with the query you are asking for, which is the delete a team. You're going to find the first one that says request to delete team. Click on that and you're going to find this form asking you to put in your team name and then reasons for deleting. And in my case, I do not want to delete any team, map any team here. So I'm just going to leave it that way. But if you're going to do it, put in your team, select the reasons and why you want to delete your team. And then you click on submit. Canva is going to notify you when the team has been deleted. And this is irreversible. When you delete your team, you can't get it back. Now, here is a quick recap on what you have already learned in this video how to create a team, how to add members to your team, how to choose a template, uh, assign team members to a particular element or to a design that you're working on, how to comment. You've also learned how to share a design and how to edit members' roles in Canva. And finally, you learned how to delete your team in Canva. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and you've learned new ways to collaborate with your team members using Canva. You can watch more of my videos on YouTube, DWC Academy, where I teach tips and design skills using Canva. You can join my Facebook community and interact with over 19,000 Canva lovers around the world. Don't forget, seven days without Canva makes one week. And until then, I dare.